and welcome back to my channel. I'm Laureen and I'm so excited to be here for my second video. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe if you find this a good video or if you find any value in it. So this will be my first video in a series of videos on how to or DIYs for your camper. So our camper was really lightly used and super well taken care of and I want to keep that clean look in the camper when we go to inevitably sell. So one of the things that I decided to do to protect our cushion, I mean, as you can see, a a lot of these cushions actually do come with the ability to unzip and clean the foam on the inside. What I have found is it's so much easier to actually cover these with the liner still on it. So I recommend keeping this liner on, finding a fabric that you love, and we'll start doing this process. The fabric that I chose is this burnt orange color, a basic linen. I chose this color knowing that probably in the spring I'm going to want to change it. Here's what you're gonna need for sewing today. You're gonna need your fabric. You're gonna need a pair of good fabric scissors. Pin, cushion, I mean, you don't have to have a pin cushion, but you're gonna need pins. They have the little hole in the end there. Yes. I'm making these exactly right to my standard. <laughs> and I'm trying to make it simple. So we wanna make sure that we have enough fabric to completely cover the whole entire cushion. That's what I'm gonna measure out first. Step one, this is very important step. Right now, all we're looking for is making sure that all sides of your cushion have enough fabric left over. It doesn't have to be this much by any means, but enough fabric left over on the sides that it will be completely covered on that side. Here's how we measure. We take our cushion long ways. I have not cut anything yet, okay? So I'm just going to fold this side over until about halfway or a little bit further than halfway down your cushion because this side is gonna be the side that actually is gonna open for you to pull your cushion out. We're gonna measure to about right there and leave it like that. Next, I'm gonna grab the other side. I'm gonna pull it over to just about, same thing, about 75% of my cushion is covered now. And then I'm gonna cut. So I'm just gonna cut a straight line across. So as you can see, now my cushion is completely covered all the way around, but I know that even if I make a mistake, I have plenty of fabric, and that's what we're going for here. Step two, I'm gonna take my cushion out, and I'm just gonna hem these sides. Now make sure to hem them the same direction. And when I say hem, I just mean that this is not very clean looking at all, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna make that side look nice and straight. I'm gonna fold it in and start using my pins from my pin cushion, making a straight line. We're gonna hem our edges. Now that we have our hem, one side is gonna be the outside, and that's the side where you can actually like see the stitching is really nice. So this is the inside of your cushion. So we have our cushion, and we're gonna put our fabric back on it, but we wanna make sure during this step that from now until completion, we have this fabric inside out. So that means that this side is on the outside of your actual cushion. So we're gonna lay our fabric out again, put our cushion in, center it nicely, and then we're gonna do that same step that we did in the beginning. We're gonna put our fabric just about a little past halfway. Now that we've hemmed it, it should be nice and straight. We're gonna place our other side across the top and notice that if we did this right, we should have a nice little overhang. So we have this part on the bottom here, this over the top, and we don't have any cushion showing. Once you have your fabric nice and tight, we're gonna start with one of our corners and we're gonna pin all the way across our corner. So now as you can see here, we have a nice straight line across the side. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so as you can see, we have a nice straight line again. So now I'm gonna remove this, I'm gonna sew that straight line, and then we're gonna move on to our next step. Something else that you can totally do, you can actually just put one pin in while your fabric is on your cushion, take it off, 
and draw a line for your seam. I like to do it this way and then I actually like to sew along the inside of my pins just to add that extra little bit of firmness and tightness that I want because I want to be nice and tight and snug. Next step, which is to sew along the line of your pins. Now that we have sewn this straight line across our fabric, we're gonna put our fabric back onto our cushion. So we have our nice straight line on this side and our nice straight line on this side. On to our next step. So now that we have our fabric back on our cushion, our next step is to pin the sides. So what we're gonna do is we have this excess here. We're just gonna lay it flat. We're gonna use our needles and poke your needle straight through so you're getting both sides of the fabric and the top. Make sure not to get your cushion in because again, if you're pulling it off and you're accidentally hooked into your cushion, you're gonna, you're gonna have to repin these. Put two pins in, unless you have a larger cushion here, you're gonna only need two pins for a cushion this size. And the reason why I'm not doing any dimensions here is because all of these cushions are so different. It's so much easier just to measure by using your fabric like we did at the beginning. So this template can actually be used for any size cushion that looks like this. On to our next side. Voila. So we have a nice straight line here that we're gonna sew. Each side is pinned. So after you have pinned along the side here, we're gonna remove our fabric from our cushion and we're gonna sew along these edges again. We're gonna sew along the line of our pins. So if you have a lot of excess here, it might throw you off a little bit, but it's pretty simple. Even with the excess behind it, you're just gonna sew along the straight line. I just sewed all of my corners and they are complete. So the next step is we're gonna flip this right side out. It's looking pretty good so far and put it on our cushion. Get your corners all lined up and our cushion is complete. So simple. Nice thing about this is that like you can see on this side, it is completely hemmed really nicely and nothing is holding it in place. So you can add a button or even if you wanted to add Velcro, you could. Because it's the back, I just leave it like this and it's super, super easy to remove if you want to remove it. Really quick disclaimer, I am by no means a professional seamstress. I've been sewing for the past like five to six months, so not for a very long time. That concludes sewing our cushions in the pop-up camper. I hope you found value in this. If you have any questions, definitely comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can be alerted with my upcoming videos. Don't forget I drop every single Sunday at 7 p.m. and I am so excited for next week's video. I have a lot of plans coming up, so I hope everybody enjoyed and I hope you're having a fantastic week and I will definitely see you next Sunday.